Welcome to my new improved Black Widow movie wig tutorial. This time with a proper lace front. This is an Eros lace front copper red from Epic Cosplay, and as you'll see as things go along, it worked amazingly. Just like before, there's some things that you'll need. Heat resistant gloves, a curling wand, a spray bottle of water, a brush and comb, preferably with a separator, and alligator clips. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Brush the wig out. I started by trying to curl, but had a hard time since the wig was too long. I was going to wait until it was all curled to cut it, but decided instead to do it ahead of time and neaten it up later. I pulled down the hair and brushed it out before chopping several inches off, using where the hair is folded as a reference. It doesn't have to be particularly neat right now, we'll fix it up later. It's a good idea to have a trash can underneath where you're cutting, just so the hair falls into it instead of on the floor. Make sure the front ends are even, and if not, even them out. Remember, the hair is parted to one side, so make sure this before cutting, or else parting it later will result in uneven cuts. Shake out the hair and brush it to get the hair out of it and see any uncut hairs. Now what I'm going to do is straighten the hair to make it easier to evenly curl it. While well, my straightener is heating up, I finished up some last minute cuts. There's a trick I'm using to use a comb with the iron to get it especially straight. I used the same trick when I styled my Winter Soldier Natasha wig. Now I'm parting the front where the braid's going to be to get it out of the way. You can curl this, but I don't plan to. I double secure it with a second alligator pin to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Time for curling the front section. I separate the hair into sections, then pin what I don't currently plan to curl out of the way. Gloves, water, and curling wand ahoy!
I actually messed up this first time, so let's move along to where I get it somewhat right. Spray again, getting the base and ends particularly wet. Curl it and have this particular conversation. Damn it! Not to mention with the gloves, I can't feel anything. Like, yeah, that's the point, but I can't feel when I'm reaching the end of the hair. You need slightly less good gloves. Yes. Once you successfully wrap the hair around the wand, hold it for a while with the glove. I have things sped up here, but note that the longer you hold it, the tighter the curl will be up to how closed in on itself it is. And there we have our first curl. Not the best, but it's a good start. I'm not worried even when my perfectionism at play because I'll be brushing it out later, as well as braiding over it. Let's skip again. I have half the hair done, and you can see that with a bunch of curls, they blend together even when still fresh. I'll show step by step how I do them here. This wig has a lot more layers than my last one. My own one, I could do three layers of curls and be set. This one, from base to top, I ended up doing five. You sort the curls out by wefts, then by sections. Comb the wefts you want down, and the ones you don't want up and out of the way, putting them aside. Now that we have the selection of wefts we want, I have about four selected here. Cone them all. Select a section, water it, put your glove on. Wrap it. Be careful with the ends. And hold it until the curl is set. Keep it up. Now that I have the back and left side curled, aside from the tibby braid, the last section up is the very front, which I'll show here. Don't worry about the weft showing at the top of the wig. It'll go away when we brush it out. If 
If you don't want to brush it out, instead of just want ringlets, go with smaller ringlets and or comb just the top of the head. Don't mind me, just enjoy my robe while I'm completely in the way, spraying the hair. Alright, done with curling. Shake it out and get ready for braiding. Let's brush this wig out a bit first though, to make the curls look more natural. So we're going to do a French braid. First things first in the lace front. Make sure you have the side pinned well into the wig head, but not too close to the edge. You don't want it to rip. Really comb her hair back. Don't let any stray hair be tucked underneath the lace front or falling forwards or anything like that. We want a really clean top to this braid. After that, find your three sections. There's a really great tutorial in the description if you need better assistance that I can give doing it. Basically, a French braid is a regular braid, but you're adding more hair to the middle every time you have hair on the outside where it to go in the middle. That's a French braid.
You'll get to a point, for me it was the ear line, where there's no more hair you want to grab. Turn it to a regular braid to finish it off from here. I didn't film it, but I thinned out my ends with scissors when I was completely done. The last thing I did was use a hair dryer to dry and loosen up all of the curls. I used it on high, but Epic Cosplay's hair is much more malleable, so you might want to use it on low instead. Either way, I styled the hair in the front, shaped the curls underneath, and let the air flow down the curls to loosen the tight ringlets. Now for the final reveal. Ta-da! Finished product. I wasn't sure if I was happy or not with the way it turned out at first. I also didn't bother with wig glue or tapes so that was just dry on the lace front. But in the end, I liked it. And what made me really like it, you asked? Makeup! I did her makeup properly for the first time in a while, which included contacts for the first time to try the full look. And I fell in love. That uh, might sound pretty arrogant putting it like that, but that is to say I was pretty proud. If you want to see how I did the full makeup look, tune in next week for a full air of that. Subscribing and ringing the bell keeps you in the loop for when I do things like that. Like and comment your thoughts and questions, and follow me on social medias. I've got a very convenient link tree down below where it all is, and your support means the world to me. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day. Bye!